I bought this Buddha kit recently, which is a kind of vacuum bell jar and a, a turbo molecular pump here. Uh, I'm going to talk about that later, but what I want to talk about is what came with it. There's a few bits and pieces that came with spare parts. So inside this uh, bell jar, it's really quite heavy, it's quite thick glass on that, uh, was obviously something they were using for a part of the experiment. And uh, I haven't a clue what it is, but it's quite interesting if we look at it. I've brought the bits and pieces uh, onto the bench. Uh, first of all, a look at the stuff in the box here. This is quite uh, an interesting little system for what appears to be building some sort of electrostatic uh, gun, or possibly electron gun, uh, for use in uh, these vacuum chambers. Uh, the simple system, it's got little bits of thread rod, it's got little distance ceramic pieces and quite a lot of tiny little beads that sit and isolate the electrodes from one another. Notice these ones have got little plates, uh, these are kind of little XY plates so you can deflect the beam electrostatically in, in, in there. Uh, there's a little pinpoint where the beam must be able to go through and then be deflected. So there's a few like that. And uh, the one that kind of gave it away mm, is this one. And here, if I take out this circlip, without it springing across the room, you will see in here, make out this little fine hair filament uh, which forms a, a cathode for it emitting electrons. Interestingly, the, for all there's a cathode in here uh, assembled there, it's not actually used. Um, this assembly has uh, a few electrostatic lenses here and if I take it apart, you can see there, there is actually uh, deflection plates in here as well, but they're slightly damaged actually. But if I take it apart, this is inside, there's a kind of large uh, half sphere and also a, a kind of cut out sphere in this part. So that's the smaller of the two and the larger one is very similar. If we open it up, we can have a look at it. So again, like the other one, this is just a larger version of it. There are little glass balls to distance these, so this isn't connected to here electrically, and in fact this half sphere isn't connected to here either, because there are ceramic insulators here. Well, the interesting thing on this one is there's actually a hole here that lines up with the where the beam would come through here. Place that back. See there's actually a a hole which lines up with the, the electrostatic lenses here. See when I take it apart there are some electrostatic lenses and again deflection ones here and one of the little glass beads has actually fallen inside. If I open up the the other side here, we just find it's a a cylinder. Uh, again, there's a an aperture for for a particle beam to go through here. There's also a hole that goes through the center for either either a detector or a source, because um, we haven't found either here. And then again, this is still more electrostatic lensing inside here too. Go 
there's, and there's also deflection plates on this side as well. So it's a little bit of a mystery what was going on, whether there was something being fed in through here or whether there was something generated in this area. So just to kind of recap inside, if we were to cut through, we would be looking at something like this, where we've got this kind of gap around this half sphere. Say this sphere looks like it's coated with graphite and we have these two collimating electrostatic lenses here and here with the deflection plates as well. But uh, no, I, no um, obvious source for electrons or detectors. Very interesting.